This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Ron Majors, Cheryl Burton, weather with meteorologist Jerry Tad, and sports with Mark G. and Greco. This is ABC 7 News at 5. The stock market has certainly been in turmoil lately. Today, the Dow Industrials ended the day up 410 points. That was after a 450-point loss yesterday. Most experts are telling investors to hang in there and look at the long run, but a lot of folks are wondering how long is the long run. <laughs> Leah Hope is here to shed some light on that and other questions, Leah. Really, the million-dollar question, more than millions, yeah. really, Ron and Cheryl. Rolling with the punches is easier said than done. We hear from the experts to stay the course with our financial plans, but for how long? And how much loss can we bear? Well, tonight we get some perspective from markets past and present. Business students at Loyola University have the advantage of learning from real life. My private finances, whether or not I don't, I mean, I don't really have any right now, but on the positive side, but um, yeah, it'll definitely change. I'll definitely be a lot more skeptical, a lot more uh, conservative. Most students don't yet have to deal with the reality of volatile markets, but the rest of the world is not so insulated from market changes. Economist David Mirza says history shows us the markets and the economy will rebound eventually. It will not take as long for us to come out of it. However, what we must be worried about is overdoing it. Looking at Dow Jones lowlights, we saw on October 19, 1987, down nearly 23 percent, losing 508 points. October 28, 1997, down 7 percent, losing 554 points. After September 11, 2001, down 7 percent, losing 684 points. And this Monday, down 4%, losing 504 points. Professor Mirza says overcorrections after 9-11 loosened credit and overstimulated the economy, contributing to our current crisis. The key to the next rebound, he says, is cautious correction. We don't want to overdo it. When you say overdo it, what do you mean? Lower interest rates too much. Stimulate the economy too much. It's steady as you go, rather than dramatic changes in policy. Julie Casserly advises private clients and just wrote The Emotion Behind Money. She advises investors to wait out the financial storm despite fear about current volatility. But she understands human nature and understands that for some, the bad news on Wall Street is more than they can bear. When someone is really nervous and they're um, reacting to the market so they're in a more fear-based position, that means that their assets are probably not aligned with exactly what their risk tolerance is. When clients reach that point, Casserly says it's time to reevaluate the real tolerance for risk. She finds some newer clients who have not seen big drops in the market sometimes need to adjust their plans after seeing the effect of volatility on some of their investments. And also we should mention that Professor Mirza was talking about how long this recovery period will mm -hmm. take. He was talking about after the Great Depression it took eight years, took many years. With this, de this not a depression, I didn't say that, but, <laughs> but it, 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 he said maybe a three, four years really for the economy to rebound. Wow. He said the real test will be is when we hear bad news and the markets don't react. Okay, okay. we'll look we're, for that. We're still looking yeah. for that. Thanks. No panicking though, thank you.